Not really. <laughs> Not worth preparing anything too special for the size of crowd that's right here. Well, but it'll probably pick up later. So it, it probably will. Why not? You're here for like ten. Yes, but it doesn't matter if it's you know ten or ten thousand. I'll just you know do my best anyways. Yeah, I saw. What was? Wasn't it a video on YouTube about? Could you? have been a video. It talked about. Uh, the saxophonist and the drummer that you hang with, uh -huh. play with sometimes, uh, that you were on, uh, uh, what is it, Lithuania's Got Talent, and, and uh, what was the other one, Rings? Some, it several was, TV it was shows. Was the title was in Lithuania, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't mean anything to me, but so it was something about Ringas. Yeah, it's like, it's Ring in Lithuanian. They tend to add AS to it at the ends of words. That's just how Lithuanian grammar works, yeah. Okay, like yeah. Uh, some Latin words and then US mm -hmm. for the singular, normal yeah. singular form. Yes. And some in A and some in ES and some in IS and some in just S. <laughs> Pretty much the whole alphabet. But just add an S, yeah. You're a hard guy to find. <laughs> well, I'm I'm good at hiding, I yeah. guess. I saw yeah. you like a year back on YouTube. I'm like, oh, this guy's pretty well in him. And I had no idea you were great. So yeah. I kept watching, and like a month later, I was like, that, that's a brewery. That's so funny. There. But I looked at your dates online, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I don't have a website. I'm yeah. still building it. And the, it, these, these dates are kind of random. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get canceled last minute. So if I advertise and make a video about it, and then mm -hmm. people show up, is that? Yeah. I, wasn't, I had that happen. I, I made a video and then I got canceled and somebody drove from Georgia Ooh. and I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very careful of what I announce. How you know. late how late do they ever cancel? Do Sometimes. they do you like show up and they say, Oh, don't bother? I've had that happen. <laughs> I've had that happen, yes. Well, you ever play in, in in the US any place other than this area? Carolinas, Tennessee. Uh, as far as LA, yeah, yeah. Look, looking to go to in Indiana, Ohio this summer. These are these are, except for Los Angeles, not exactly prime locations for music audiences. Well, Tampa. And whenever I have people better, listening, that's that's a prime location. Play Janis Landing, or like, or uh, better yet, uh, the, uh, what's her name, uh, Ruth Eckert Hall. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But those are big venues. Yes, those are. It would, it, would, it would take more than two people to fill it up, you know? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But tonight's the night. The prime location is here. You're here. You're here, you know? So, so that's cool. Like uh, Lennon said, uh, now they know how many holes it takes to fill the Albert Hall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I have never seen you except on the web, uh, like videos, and it was always solo, just you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's usually just, I ha I do have a band, but I'm, I'm not playing with a band as frequently as I would like to, let me just, you know, say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's uh, that's my name in runes. That's Dovidas. Yes. Yeah, it's uh. You realize those weren't really made for the sounds of Lithuania. <laughs> no, I, I, just, I just like I just like mythologies of different cultures. Yeah. So I just uh, you know went went with that. Yeah. Then what were you saying about it? I guess it's a. Uh, there are different kinds of runes. Oh yeah. And I was told this is some fructar elder the type of uh, runes, as opposed to you know. Okay, now that may be a made-up one. Okay. Because uh, runes, yeah. you know, it's like there's people who make made-up languages. Uh, sometimes use the Latin alphabet. Mm. That okay. doesn't mean it's not what, like uh, what's the one of the, the big artificial languages. Uh, uh, like, all you think of is Interlingua and Edo, which are not big ones. Right. Esperanto. Yeah, yeah. They, they tried to... That uses the Latin alphabet. Yes. 
uh, they, they try to get it to catch on, but it really didn't really catch yeah, on. It could. And the reason is that language is an aspect of culture. Yes. And if you don't have the culture, then, you know, Tolkien dedicated his life to creating a, a, an artificial, you know, uh, uh, made up history to provide a culture for the languages that he invented. That's why he got into that. He said oh, yeah. repeatedly that the whole reason for making up these stories was so that the, the languages would have an environment to exist in. Because he, being a linguist, recognized that the language is an aspect of culture. You, you, you can't have you, either without the other. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that, yeah, that makes sense. That's why it's so important in the uh, the places that uh, the Russians are trying to control all the time that the people get to keep their own language mm -hmm. because once they supplant they supplant their language with Russian then they've lost their culture. Uh, yeah, that, that that makes sense. Um, Lithuania was part of the Soviet Union for the. Oh yeah, and Latvia and Estonia. Yes. And I don't know how similar the languages and cultures of the three are, um, the three Baltic states as we call them in English. It's, it's pretty different. It's, I mean, there are similarities, but... Um, <laughs> it's not like Swedish and Norwegian, where unless you are one, you can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, I know I don't understand Latvian. You know, I'm... I'm Pretty certain that you know um, certain words, you know, like uh, like hello and thank you. They're very similar, but when it comes to uh, spoken, well, they're all Slavic languages, aren't they? Mm, no, those are Baltic languages, Lithuanian and Latvian. But and Lithuanian then, sounds like a lot like Russian or Polish. Mm, think but of then it I'm as not a, an expert in, those in between. Think of it as between. So Polish would be right in between Lithuanian and Russian, okay, and then. But Russian and Polish are both are purely Slavic languages. So is yeah. Czech and, and Serbian certainly is. Yes, uh, but Russian they use a different alphabet. Yeah, they use the yeah. stupid Cyrillic alphabet. Well, it's it's well, it has its history and, and reasons. Yeah, for it. yeah, it certainly has a history, <laughs> including lots of letters that nobody uses anymore. Yeah. Have you ever seen the full alphabet they use in in uh, uh, the old Church Slavonic in Serbian? I've I've seen it. It's got like forty-five letters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I speak and read and write Russian, so I'm very familiar with Cyrillic. Yeah, my my grandma's Russian. No, I'm just. The, it's understandable why Cyril would have used the Greek alphabet as the basis. I just don't think he necessarily made the best decision. Well, it's it's two it guys. To it's uh, the it's of Kirill and certainly as they are Methody. now. Yeah. Well, was there somebody else that well, the, messed with him? You know how it's like two guys do something, but only one claims the credit. So it's kind of with Cyrillic. So Cyril was the name of a person, but yeah. he had a partner There's that a Greek, helped him. Greek monk. Uh, I'm not they sure their uh, cultural Saint origin. Kiro. Probably. Greek yeah. Orthodox, Mark. I don't yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethn ethnicity. Was. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure about full history. I just know that two people did it, and it originally, not only it had letters, but each letter had a word, and it was so, sort of like a, like a, like a prayer. With each letter, uh, there was a word, and, and a short story goes through each letter to the last letter from the first one kind of like uh, Latin, you know, it's not A, B, C, it's, you know, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, you know, it's like, it's like short words. Uh, that well, that's the names of the Greek letters. <laughs> is the Latin, they're just named by the sounds. Is it? The Latin alphabet. Okay. You know, the classic, okay. classic Greek in English is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, and so on. Mm -hmm. But in modern Greek, they're like Alpha, Delta, Delta, Gamma, the sounds have changed. That makes sense. And there was never any, in Greek, there was never any real standard in ancient Greek. Right. Whereas in Latin, there was a, a single standard classical Latin that, that the, the uh, top end people taught their kids. 
That makes sense. <laughs> Although probably, I suspect almost nobody, if, or maybe no, absolutely nobody, spoke classical Latin as a native language because mm -hmm. the kids were raised by slaves, and the slaves were certainly not taught classical Latin except in a few very specialized cases. Right. They spoke vulgar Latin, mm -hmm. and so the kids would pick that up first. Mm -hmm. Hi. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'll let you. It's all right. It's okay.